Joe Avers, and I've been in the mailing business for 35 years. Yeah, and I'm uh, Ronnie Avers, and I've been uh, in the mailing business for over probably 35 years, too. Yeah, technically, we probably were in the business longer than 35 years because when we, uh, when mom and dad started the business in 1974 at the kitchen table, Ronnie and I were involved, but we were in the other room. We were watching cartoons. So we kind of knew the industry was going to be a Mickey Mouse organization from the very beginning. So, <laughs> um, you know, I, uh, to, uh, growing up, we had the um, uh, opportunity to watch mom and dad um, grow the business, you know, and I, I now, having left for about five, seven years, realized that the first five millions of, uh, of revenue of a business is the hardest five million, and they did that during the, the first 10 years before Ronnie and I got involved, and uh, the only thing that we saw is that they worked a lot of long hours, and uh, when they needed help, when nobody else was there because the weather was, was bad or somebody didn't show up, then they would call us, okay? Oh, yeah. And uh, we would uh, um, uh, either either in direct mail or in the hand delivery. We would uh, work in the uh, snow, or we'd be running the machines back there. But the mailing needed to go out, and if they couldn't get the staff to, to come in because it was a holiday or something like that, we um, uh, so doing that. And uh, you know, not only that, Brian and I would fight when we were at home, but. The uh, uh, you, you realize you, as you grow up, you go, man, they're they're gone a lot, you know. But the one thing that they always did is they they have to go open the business up at like five or six o'clock in the morning, and then we would get ourselves ready for school, and then they would come home at uh, seven o'clock in the morning. We'd all go eat breakfast at the pig grill. You remember? Oh yeah. And uh, that was special, you know. And then and then you know then they would end up working until seven eight o'clock at night. So we learned how to. Uh, uh, cook a lot of hamburgers. Yep. That's probably why we probably look the way we do now. So, yeah, and uh, it was, most kids would love snow days, but you know, when when snow days, that means that they couldn't get the workers to come out, and they would, and then Dad would pull us in and make us uh, make us go work. So uh, we always had some some, uh, and we didn't always have the the right equipment. Sometimes we we didn't have all the gloves that we needed, but uh, you know, but it was it was always fun. Dad certainly had his role too, although he may not have been the entrepreneur, and he had to keep mom in line one thing he did was the employee relations side he'd always make sure that that they had all the resources that they need and, and even to the point of making sure we had cokes and 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 how that would get handled but he would always go out he had every week we did payroll every week it wasn't every two weeks back then it was every week is he made sure he personally handed the paycheck to every employee he knew every one of their names and even if he couldn't pronounce their name he'd come up with a nickname for them and uh you know so and when when it was his birthday, the production folks would always throw a party for him. They wouldn't throw for the rest of us, no. but they always threw the parties for him. And uh, I think that was an important part. Now, he always gave loans, and he forgot who he gave the loan to, so I'm sure that helped his popularity with the uh, staff. So, the uh, But, you know, it, it, you know, today I had the opportunity to reacquire the, the business, and uh, we took that opportunity to rename our conference room, and one of them is the Ruthie that's in the strategy and the account management area, and then we had the one that was in our production area, we renamed that the Norbert room. And I know that and a lot of the employees are still the same employees that, that Dad helped, yeah. maybe gave them their loans and so forth, but, uh, and they have their meetings in there every day, you know, and every day they go in there, they're, they're going into the Norbert room. So part of that legacy, even though they may have been retired for the last 10 years, still is very important. And when we had the opportunity to uh, uh, reacquire, when I was involved in, in the investment group to reacquire it, the employees were really excited. What they didn't realize is they only got one of the Avers, they didn't get all the Avers, okay? But, uh, but it certainly they were very excited to, to get back into much more of an entrepreneur and a family business.